Hello, welcome to Puffs and Poetry. I'm your host, Jessica, a writer, cannabis aficionado, and poetry lover. Today, we are reading from the book of poetry called West Wind by Mary Oliver, published in 1997. Before we get into that, let me tell you what I'm smoking today. I am testing out this new dry herb pipe that I got. It is a little spoon pipe, ceramic, I believe, from the brand Ongronk. I am not huge on dry herb pipes. They are important, I think, in the stoner community. They are what most people start out with when they are smoking weed. They are what I started out with when smoking weed. But in the ranking of ways to smoke weed, I think, for me personally, dry herb pipes fall to the bottom. But there are also a lot of pros to dry herb pipes. They are small, they are easily portable, they are easy to clean, they do not require a lot of maintenance, and they typically have a smaller bowl pack, which makes them really nice for single serves, like in this instance. The main downfall is just how harshly they can hit, but that's no reason not to use them. This one from Angronk has a nice deep bowl, and a nice big carb. It also has not a very long neck, but a decently long neck for pulling and a large mouthpiece at the end. This is a new pipe to me, so I am excited to try it out. It's a little bit windy, so we'll see how it goes. In my flour mill today, I have a combination of CBD from a farm in Vermont, herbs from a lavender herbal blend by Rebus Blends, and some THC flower that I've picked up while I am in Maine. It is a strawberry sour pie strain and it has about 12% THC, which I really like. I have been pleasantly surprised throughout my travels in Maine at how easy it is to find lower THC percentage flowers. Typically in established rec markets, I struggle in dispensaries to find things under 25%, let alone under 20% but I have been very pleasantly surprised throughout my time in Maine at how easy it is to find strains under 20%, 12%, 15 17 These are all potency levels that I am more comfortable with. I don't think that it is always necessary or good to be elevated to the moon. I think that in a lot of cases, a lower THC percentage is just as effective, if not more effective than a higher THC percentage. And that is because of the biphasic effects of THC. I'm just gonna leave that there and light this that the wind just picked up. So before I light this, let me explain what I mean by that. THC has biphasic effects which means the effects that it has in a low dose are opposite of the effects that it has in a high dose. So while low doses of THC can help relieve anxiety and promote focus, higher doses of THC can actually increase anxiety and make it harder to focus. Let's see if this is... no. For me, the key piece of a dry herb bowl is a good carburetor. The hole on the side here, a small carburetor is <clears throat> detrimental to getting a good pull, while a large one can make it challenging to cover it with your thumb or whatever finger you choose to use. This on ground pipe has a nice carburetor. I also judge a dry herb pipe by its ability to keep a bowl cherry or lit in between pulls. This one's doing a pretty nice job so far, especially considering all this wind. This pipe, as I mentioned, is new to me, so I am still testing it out, seeing what I like and don't like about it. 
but so far I really like it. I think it's a solid dry herb pipe. And I think that's enough about weeds. Let's get into our poems for today. We are reading a couple of pieces by my favorite poet, Mary Oliver. Our first poem today is called Seven White Butterflies. Seven white butterflies, delicate in a hurry. Look how they bang the pages of their wings as they fly to the fields of mustard yellow and orange and plain gold, all eternity in the moment. This is what Blake said, Whitman said, such agitated, such wisdom in the agitated motions of the mind, seven dancers floating, even as worms, towards paradise. See how they banter and riot and rise to the trees, flutter, lob their white bodies into the invisible wind, weightless, lacy, willing to deliver themselves unto the universe. Now, each settles down on a yellow thumb on a brassy stem. Now, all seven are rapidly sipping from the golden towers. Who would have thought it could be so easy? Hello, Diamond. I have one line highlighted in this poem in the second stanza. All eternity is in the moment. I try to remind myself of that when I am feeling impatient or rushed or hurried or anything that is not present and contented. It does not always work, but it is for me a nice line to come back to. Our next poem today is called At Round Pond. Owl, make your little appearance now. Owl, dark bird, bird of gloom, messenger reminder of death that can't be stopped, argued with, leashed, put out like a red fire, but burns as it will. Owl, I have not seen you now for too long a time. Don't hide away, but come flowing and clacking. The slap of your wings, your death's head, oh, rise out of the thick and shaggy pine. When you look down with your golden eyes, how everything trembles, then settles from mere incident into the lush of meaning. because this bowl is ceramic, the bottom of it gets warm when it's lit. Interesting, it's quite warm to hold actually. Our last poem today is called Black Oaks, and it is one of my favorite Mary Oliver poems. Okay, not one can write a symphony or a dictionary or a letter to an old friend full of remembrance and comfort. Not one can manage a single sound, though the blue jays carp and whistle all day in the branches without the push of wind. But to tell the truth, after a while I'm pale with longing for their thick bodies ruckled with lichen. And you can't keep me from the woods, from the tonnage of their shoulders and their shining green hair. Today is a day like any other day. 24 hours, a little sunshine, a little rain. 
Listen, says Ambition, nervously shifting her weight from one boot to another. Why don't you get going? For there I am in the mossy shadows under the trees. And to tell the truth, I don't want to let go of the risks of idleness. I don't want to sell my life for money. I don't even want to come in out of the rain. I'm not sure if Diamond's in the camera frame. She might be right out of it. But she started eating grass while I was reading that poem. Hi. And it was so distracting. Hi, sweet girl. I have the entire last stanza of this poem highlighted. I love it. And to tell the truth, I don't want to let go of the risks of idleness. I don't want to sell my life for money. I don't even want to come in out of the rain. I too do not want to let go of the risks of idleness. I too do not want to sell my life for money. What about you? Those are all of the poems that I have for you today. Thank you for spending some time with me and with Mary Oliver. Until I see you again, be kind to yourself, be kind to others and have a wonderful week. Hey.